is a battle royale. Making her way to the ring from Orlando, Florida, Naomi. One of the women's division's great athletes. Here comes Naomi. You're right, Cole. You simply cannot deny Naomi's athleticism. It's worth noting, guys, that Natalia has been a major force in the women's division since 2008. Talk about staying power, Michael. Wow. Amazingly, guys, title match or not, she seems incredibly motivated to walk out of here tonight with the win. It's simple math, Cole. More wins equals more money. And isn't that what we're really all after at the end? A huge opportunity for these six superstars here tonight, guys. But as the great Dusty Rose would say, only one will make it to the pay window at the end of this one. Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six-man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s.
A huge opportunity here tonight for one of these superstars to prove their dominance against a whole host of others. Yeah, and whoever ends up winning this battle royal will have certainly earned it. I mean, some of WWE's biggest names are in this match. Naomi and Natalya have been at odds for years, but their rivalry really reached an apex in 2017 when they clashed on the big stage of SummerSlam. These women already had disdain for each other when they managed rival tag teams, but it only grew after the Usos and the team of Cesaro and Tyson Kidd ceased their battles. If it was me, I'd start this thing by going right after the biggest competitor, then worry about the rest of the field. We discussed the seeds of Naomi and Natalya's anger from 2015, but two years later when Naomi became SmackDown Women's Champion, Natalya confronted Naomi, claiming she had made the championship a toy and she customized the title to glow. Kind of all for fashion, but Natty had a point there. That point was emphasized when Natalya extinguished the glow, making Naomi submit to the sharpshooter at SummerSlam. She's starting to sweat a bit. Jeez. But I'd be surprised if she doesn't find a way back and control this thing. Yeah, but she still has to be considered a legitimate contender to win this battle royal. I definitely didn't anticipate her struggling so much, but hey, crazier things have happened here in the WWE. James Ellsworth 2016 is a perfect example of that. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum. I don't have you walking funny. I'm going to go on the record right now and say Natalia is the physically strongest woman in sports entertainment. There's no way anyone can match power with the Queen of Hearts, though I think Natalia is strongest when her heart is black. Natalia is a force within the ring. Beginning to look bad for her here, though we've seen her come back from worse in the past. Hey, unless you're Andre the Giant, battle royals are difficult. And she's clearly not Andre the Giant. So I can understand struggling a little bit here. Natalia has incredible strength and the ability to channel that strength in different ways. It would not be wise for an opponent to try and get the best of Natalia in the power department. There are so many things a superstar needs to be wary of when walking up with the Queen of Hearts. But the first thing Natalia's opponent must accept is they can't try and match power with a third generation superstar. Bad idea. Back body drop. No, there's the reversal. She's got the skill and the stamina to really do some damage here. Natalia is sports entertainment royalty, and this is the first third-generation female competitor in WWE history. The Queen of Hearts is also the only female to survive training in the Heart Dungeon. When she gets in attack mode, look out! Over Natalia's impressive career, we've seen her be the affable, gracious, and fun-loving queen of hearts. And we've seen her to be the merciless queen of black hearts. Natalia's been on both sides of the fence, so to speak, when it comes to following the rules. But either way, the superstar is known for her no-nonsense attitude and intensity. Setting up for a neckbreaker! Well, that rocked her all right. Naomi looking a little drained out there. One of the most intense six-man battle royals I've ever witnessed took place on SmackDown in 2008. It was Jeff Hardy, Big Show, Great Khali, Umaga, MVP, and Mr. Kennedy all throwing down to see who would be the number one contender for the WWE Championship. The winner, Ronda Rousey's done playing. One move after the other. It's devastating. Incredible. The six-man battle royal on SmackDown was an exciting time. Corey, just to help put things in perspective, WWE officials had to order the ring to be reinforced for this matchup because between the six superstars, it was Natalya going for the submission. Oh! She's got a chance to win it here. Stephanie McMahon wants to put this... And she got her with a clothesline. Victory is on the horizon. Not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. 
even me. When I think of a six-man battle royal, I often think of how different the strategy is for a superstar who's competing in it. Yes, the objective is the same, to be the last person standing in the ring, but there are only six superstars. You're not able to hide among the trees, so to speak, as well as the battle royals with 20, 30, or 40 superstars. Oh, straight forearm. Natalia beginning to stumble a bit. The hopes of winning this match may very well be in jeopardy. Natalia's version of the sharpshooter taught to her by her uncle, WWE Hall of Famer Brett. Hitman Hart is perfectly executed and can snap an opponent's back like a twig. She's out of it, guys. Yeah, she's leaving herself wide open here. From the hallowed ground of the Heart Dungeon in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia debuted in WWE at odds with the Bella Twins and managed the Heart Dynasty to the WWE Tag Team Championship. Natalia's in all kinds of trouble here. Watch this here. Watch out here, ladies and gentlemen. Stephanie McMahon looks to be in trouble. She's got to find a way to regain her momentum. Oh man, she's rolling now. These competitors are walking on dangerous ground right now. Ow, that hurt. And guys, we're seeing Stephanie McMahon in a tough situation. This six-man match may have taken it all out of her. And it's Natalia with the reversal. Oh man, by the hair. Looking a little dazed here. Yeah, she's definitely not looking at herself right now, Cole. Stephanie McMahon hit! And there's the victory. What a six-man match. What a six-man battle royal that was. Take another look at what made that one. One of the matches we'll be talking about for years to come. Here is your winner, Stephanie McMahon. What a grueling victory here in this elimination match. To run the gamut like we just saw here tonight is among the toughest things a WWE competitor can do. Well, that was indeed a great match. And I think it's worth emphasizing how huge this victory is.